show you more detail of uh, trimming using my tools and uh, some of you already bought a tool and uh, maybe you know how to do it and maybe you don't so uh, I will do some demonstration on how you use it and the tool I'm going to use today for trimming okay, this is the ball that I, I throw the other day and in the front of the uh, the video I show you uh, two angles, two different angles, how I, uh, and in timeless mode, how I make the, the balls, make this ball. And then um, today, after two days of drying, uh, I'm ready to trim it. So that's the uh, tool I'm going to use for trimming. It will be um, my number two for general trimming, for trimming the foot and for trimming the outer part. Can use either uh, the newer one. This is the tungsten carbide tool, or use my um, stainless steel regular uh, trimming tool. Uh, either way, uh, it will be fine. So that's for trimming, and then uh, after that, I will do uh, the cheddar mark using my number one. Uh, you, you will see the difference. The number two is shorter, so it doesn't get vibrate easily. But if you don't get a vibration to get a chattering mark, uh, number one is the tool to use. Okay, and I will show you how to use it. Okay, number one. And also before, um, after trim, because I'm going to use the clay to hold it here on the side. And after I remove the clay, if you want to trim all the way here, uh, you need to flip over and recenter it again. But uh, there's a, a little uh, tool that I... Uh, invented you could use that to uh, compress it okay this is the tool that uh, it's not my invention but the combination of these two is my invention okay so this one is for easy to find you send it so that your pieces uh, this piece is sitting in the center and then you just drop this in and while the wheel spin you can hold it down okay so you have a down pressure so you will be able to take care of the side easily okay so that's the, uh, what this tool is using for. And why don't you uh, just use one here? Because usually when you trim the foot here, uh, you usually like to trim a little dome, so it's not flat. So this one won't be able to sit flat. And also some people, if you are trimming uh, this part, your clay too wet, this part is soft. So um, it's not good for using a lot of pressure down. So, by uh, putting this on the foot and then drop this in, it will be easy. So that's why uh, this is my uh, invention for the combination of this spinner and this plastic glass. And I will show you how to do that. And also before trim, you want to know how thick the bottom is before you start it. And uh, here's my tool that it's easy for you to find the sander. It's the uh, horizontal tool. Okay, this tool has two holes here, one in the sander, one on the side. So, uh, if you have only one piece, you can just drop in one piece there and get the reading, and then you pull it out, and then measure the outside, and you subtract the difference. So you come up with the uh, uh, the thickness before you start it, so you know exactly how thick the bottom is. So you don't leave too much clay in the center, or you don't cut it through by ex by accident. So that's the. Uh, um, if you want to get it easier, uh, instant reading, you could have three pieces set. Okay. So let me check the. Uh, reading here on the outside is 115 115 and on the inside is 102 okay so 115 and 102 it comes to about 3 uh, 13 millimeters okay 13 millimeters it's about a little bit less than half of an inch okay 13 millimeters. So that's the uh, reading. Okay, so exactly you can get it right away.
So that's three pieces set, or we can use the two pieces. Okay, 115 minus 102 is 13. Okay. What if you have uh, my shorter, okay, I have two versions. One is longer and one is shorter. Okay, this one is shorter and uh, it's barely to come to the, the center, uh, come to the, the side. So I won't be able to check the outside. Right, this one is shorter. So what if you have this set of two and you still want to uh, measure the wider uh, pieces? What do you do? Uh, actually, it's very easy. Okay, you can get a, a two pieces of parallel bar. Okay, two parallel bar, or like a ruler here. I have a ruler here. You can just use a wood. Okay, piece, two pieces of wood, and then you put one here in the center, and then you insert toward the center. You get a reading. Okay, one one five. Uh, no, 102, okay, 102, okay, and then it take out and measure the outside. And then you subtract the difference. Actually, the inside is not 102 because why? There is a thickness of the ruler, so it's a little bit more than 105. Uh, actually, it's 104, okay, so that ruler is about 2 millimeters. But it's the same, you, you check on the same level, so uh, if you subtract, it, will, it should come out the same thickness, okay, come out the same thickness. So that's how you increase the size even wider, uh, you can also measure it too. Alright, so uh, we already know about it's about 30 millimeters, and now we're going to put it upside down and uh, center it. Piece is centered, and then uh, I'm using a clay coil to hold it in position. And I usually like to trim my part right on the wheel head because this is metal, and uh, for the metal that the clay to hold it on, it's easier for clay to stick on the metal than uh, stick on the, the wood if you give a wooden bat. And also, if you have a plastic bag, sometimes it warps, so it doesn't stay flat. So that's why I usually like to trim right on the wheel head. And also, when you are securing using the clay coil, make sure that you hold down the part, because if you don't, you might push it away by accident. So that's one uh, important tip for you that hold on the part. Okay. All right. I'm using my uh, tungsten carbide tool or two trim. Okay. So I give myself an idea where the foot ring should be. So I'm using the corner. Just give it a little bit rough idea. Okay, so that will, this part will be the outer part. We could adjust it later, okay? But just keep myself an idea where the foot rim will be, right? So that, I have an idea. That clay in the middle, I need to remove it. The clay from the outside, I need to remove it. So that's a whole lot of clay here. Usually I care more about the inner curve then the outside curve because the outside curve is adjustable by simply trim, remove the clay. But the inside, you don't usually want to trim the inside. It's a little bit too complicated to trim the inside. Right, so just roughly cutting the clay off. Um, to avoid the vibration, uh, you want to uh, make sure that you hold 
to a closer to the corner. Okay. And if you feel there's a vibration, just change the direction. Okay, change the direction or the way you hold the tool. Okay. Sometimes you hold the tool more like this is kind of scraping and if you hold more like angle, this is cutting. Okay. So the angle is also very, play a very important role okay, when you are using my tool. Right, so just roughly cut it. You don't need to refine this part yet. After I uh, trim the middle. So the middle, I'm going to remove a whole lot of clay because I have uh, 13 millimeters. And there are a couple of uh, ways to trim. You can hold the tool from here to the side, hold the tool from that, and also hold the tool this way too. So how much clay to remove from the bottom? Usually I tell people that I would like to uh, leave it about three to four millimeters. So I I will use my ruler again to uh, check how deep I already cut in. Like this one here. So that's the uh, how much I already removed. It's about five. It's about five, and uh, I wanted to cut it until it gets to here, about ten. Okay, so I still have uh, quite a bit to go, five millimeters more. Actually, this piece of clay is still uh, not that. That's why I prefer to uh, to use my tool. You can see that clay stick on to the tool. The, this part is drier, but this part is still uh, a little damp. But uh, it's doable, so I will just go ahead and uh, trim it. So if you are an expert, it's just by <clears throat> knocking the button and hear the sound. So, <clears throat> so you would know when is the uh, when when to stop. So if you are not an expert, 
and you want to become the expert leader. This is the tool to get because now I'm checking it. I have a 13, right? So now 13 to here, now it's about 8, so 8 plus 5, uh, 13 minus 8. So this is about uh, 5 millimeters here. So if you knock it, that's a sound about 5 millimeters, okay? And you memorize it. And then uh, you can keep on cutting. So I'm going to cut uh, two more. Get the tool back again and then uh, check it. So now it's about nine. So I only remove one millimeter. So I have one millimeter to go. Knock it. Okay, that's the sun. Right, so this is about 10. Okay, so that's when I will start at 10. My core is to live in this part to about three millimeters, okay, three. So 13 and 10, so it's about three. So I will stop, stop right here. And then I just refine it, get all the corners right. And the good thing for this tool is that this is exactly 90 degrees, so you will be able to take care of that corner easily. <sighs> right, so that's the uh, right thickness. And then uh, from from this point, I will compare the inner corner and outer outside corner. So the outside is still higher than the inside corner. So I know I have some room to remove, some clay to remove.
Okay, so that's about right. Okay, the out, outside part is a little bit lower than the inside. The, the curve, when you're making a bow, there's a curve. So outside could be a, a tiny little bit uh, lower than the inside corner. I usually use the corner of my trimming tool to go in there to cut a little little undercut. So when I'm glazing, the uh, the glaze will stop in the corner easier without going all the way. So that's how I usually do cut a little groove there. And now the final step is just level the foot and I don't need to use the foot to uh, to check the uh, thickness so I could remove a bit more. So the footing is good now, but the shape isn't. The shape doesn't follow. You see that this part here, I still have lots of clay here on this part here. So I will go ahead and try to get the the whole curve follow through. You see, when I'm trimming, I'm extending these fingers so to stabilize. So my fingers resting right there while I'm trimming it down. So my tool is more stable. Even uh, my right, my left hand is not holding it because sometimes it's too wide for my left hand to hold. So just extending my right fingertip to stabilize the tool. That's how far down I can uh, remove it. So, but uh, the clay to hold it is in the way. I won't be able to trim all the way down. So I will leave it alone until after I remove it, and then I can trim it. Like I showed you at the beginning of the the video, that uh, I have something to hold it down to trim.
the uh, slope of the the foot is a little bit too much so I'm going to uh, cut a little bit more looks better and then the final cutting I will try to smooth the uh, there's still a little bit of uh, uh, texture here when I'm trimming down so this time I'm gonna spin the wheel a bit faster and move my tool slowly so the uh, surface will be uh, a lot more smoother Moving the tool slower and spin the wheel faster. That's the key to keep, get the surface nice and smooth. Okay. Use my stamp to uh, stamp on it before I do that. I like to burnish the foot a bit Right, like I told you that beginning the video, I like to uh, put the chattering mark. So I have a two band of a chattering mark from this section to here and then the next section to here. And then just keep this part plain. And uh, for the chattering, this is my number one, okay? Number one. Um, I will do using from my my side the left corner okay a little bit more than corner okay about left half of it okay. to trim from here to here and then stop right here and I will draw two lines and then using the right side emphasize on the right side and then go down here and then mark two lines here okay that's my planning before I do I show I told you I'm telling you that what I'm gonna do because this is gonna happen uh, very quick maybe within a minute right so for chattering you want the, the the blade to uh, bounce okay to bounce so uh, you want to hold the uh, the handle a bit uh, longer so there's a hole here so usually I put my thumb here to hold it okay put it on the in in the part here and then grab here and you want to grab a little bit firmer okay a little bit firmer and also when you are chatter okay you want the uh the the two or the tip of the two to cut a tiny little bit uh, deeper so a little bit pressure okay i i uh, when i do in the workshop i i uh people try to do it at the beginning they kind of holding the tool too light okay too light a little bit deeper uh, to a kind of deeper or lighter, it's somehow depending on how firm, okay, how much pressure you you apply it on, and also how dry or how soft that the wall is. This piece of uh, clay is wet a little bit uh, on the damp side, so uh, I don't need to use so much pressure here. I can still cut it deeper. So to uh, to cut the uh, cheddar mark. Before I go, uh, I want to see my planning, show you my planning. Okay. okay, 
Okay, so that's my first cut. You can see that I'm moving my tool quite slow, very slow, and that the gap is very close. So it's it's like a ladder. You just climbing the ladder. If you uh, look at that the chatter mount closer, and then after that, I told you that I would draw two lines here. Let me use my carbide tool. It's a little bit sharper. So that's the uh, first chatter mark. And then I'm going to emphasize on using my right hand corner. So I carefully apply the pressure and uh, the uh, the distance is very close to each other so the, the texture looks much nicer. Okay. Alright, so that's to uh, chatter mark and then I'm going to leave this part smooth. But I want the, the whole curve follow through. Because when you trim down, there is a clay in the way so I won't be able to go take care of this part here so that's the uh, tool at the beginning of the, the video I told you that I'm gonna use this because when I'm uh, using that you see that I usually trim the, the center point of my foot a little dome because the the inner part of the, the bow has a little dome here so I trim a little dome so if you try to use this See that it's not level, and also I did this part about three inches and a uh, three millimeters. So it's and also this is a little bit soft. So I'm afraid of if I have a, too much pressure, I will I'm gonna ruin it. So that's why the companion uh, disc. Okay, this disc. Um, I got a whole lot of a circle, so it's very easy to find the center. Just put it on. Right, so it's almost center. Okay. Um, there's a little of a dent here, so actually this piece of a spinner just dropping is fitting nicely in the center. So the uh, the pressure when you push down is is distribute on the foot. So you're not going to ruin you are not going to ruin the 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 foot. Okay, the foot ring. So and then just hold it down. Okay, hold it hold it down while this the wheel is spinning. Um, this when you hold down the pressure, you see that you hold down. So the bottom part is spinning, but this part here is your hand is holding very firm. So now I could remove the clay from the corner so the, the ball is still in position and then I get in my tool back um, hold it down you see the hold the hold down pressure so the clay is not moving even you bump from the side because the down pressure here and then I'm just connecting the curve all the way. Down to the very bottom corner.
right so very final I'm just removing a little bit clay small amount of clay but spin the wheel a little bit faster right so that take care of that so the whole curve follow through all the way from here and then to the bottom okay so that's the uh, trimming I'm using all the tool I show you at the beginning of my video and now I can remove that Definitely remove, clean up the rim. And since this is porcelain, so I could use a, a sponge to smooth the rim. Okay. So that's the bowl. And uh, let me show you the chatter mark and the foot that I trim. So that's the foot deeper, and then uh, the chatter mark here. And the whole ball is nice and even and feels light. Okay, lightweight because that's how much clay I remove. See that uh, how much clay I remove but to get a nice ball. Uh, I care the inside when I throw. I care the inside more than the outside. And outside is adjustable, just like I just did to show you how I remove and finish it. Okay. Hope uh, you learned something from this video. Thank you.